This is Drugs to Treat Fungal Infections. My name is Jeff. Let's get started. Discuss mechanism of action, indications, contraindications, adverse effects, cautions and black box warnings, metabolism, amphotericin B, fluconazole, itraconazole, boriconazole, caspofungin, mycofungin, and anadulafungin. With respect to amphotericin B, we're going to be talking about ambisome. Ambisome, for injection, it's a lyophilized product for IV infusion. The drug, amphotericin B, intercalated into a liposomal membrane consisting of the different lipids shown here, mostly hydrogenated soy phosphatidylcholine. Here's a picture of what that might look like. It's a phospholipid bilayer into which amphotericin molecules are intercalated amongst this liposomal vesicle. There are two links you can click on. Here's an up-to-date link on the pharmacology of amphotericin B, specific information about ambisome. Picture of the structure. It's a macrocyclic polyene antifungal antibiotic drug produced from a strain, Streptomyces nodosus, for many severe invasive fungal infections, but it has toxicities associated with it. Thus, the new formulation in liposomal amphotericin B. B acts by binding to the sterile component of a cell membrane, leading to alterations in cell permeability and cell death. The problem comes in, it also binds to cholesterol, a key component of the mammalian cells. This leads to its cytotoxicity. In particular, this drug can be very nephrotoxic. This drug is indicated to treat fungal infections from Aspergillus, Candida, Cryptococcus neoformans, Blastomyces dermatitis. This drug is contraindicated in patients with any known hypersensitivity to amphotericin, any of its constituents. Be aware that renal impairment can occur when your patients are on this drug. You need to monitor serum, potassium, magnesium, and phosphate levels. Adverse effects manifest in the CNS, renal system, GI system as well as in the cardiovasculatory, respiratory, hematologic, and other systems. You need to exercise extreme caution, fatal cardiac, cardiopulmonary arrest, verify the product name, dosage pre-administration, anaphylaxis has been reported, administer the drug under close observation, nausea, vomiting, chills, and rig. This drug may require the use of a phenothiazine, such as promethazine. Especially critical to monitor serum creatinine, potassium, and magnesium. Serious drug interactions, there are nephrotoxic effects. In the non liposomal ambisome formulation is called amphotericin B deoxycholate. It's way more nephrotoxic than the lipid based formulation. There's drug interactions with skeletal muscle relaxants, digitalis glycosides, flucytosine. Tericin B can increase the toxicity of flucytosine. Pregnancy category B drug. As a black box warning, amphotericin B should be used primarily for treating patients with life-threatening fungal infections. It is not to be used for non-invasive forms of fungal infections. Amphotericin B creates pores that compromise membrane integrity in the fungi and increase membrane permeability, but it also binds to cholesterol in human cells. And that's what accounts for amphotericin B's nephrotoxicity. This drug is mostly excreted unchanged in the urine and feces. Humans do not metabolize amphotericin B. The drug elimination is biphasic, and the half-life of this drug is up to 15 days. Serum levels of this drug are not influenced by hepatic or renal function, or by hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Azoles first came on the market in 1973 with the arrival of chlortrimazole. Other agents include fluconazole, itraconazole, fluconazole, Conazole, butaconazole, and teoconazole. Newer triazoles, boriconazole, posoconazole, ravuconazole, are active against fluconazole resistant strains of candida. Resistance is becoming a problem. Additional azoles have been rolled out over the past five decades. Let's start with fluconazole. Click on the link, Pfizer website. The other link is shown here. The mechanism of action. Like that of other azoles, its mechanism of action involves interruption of lanastrol to ergosterol by fungal cytochrome P450s, and subsequent disruption of fungal membrane. This drug is indicated candida, urinary tract infections, as well as peritonitis and vaginal candidiasis, oropharyngeal cryptococcal meningitis, prophylaxis of candidiasis with bone marrow transplant. Contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to fluconazole or any of its excipients. Excipients are nothing more than everything but the drug in the oral pill. Co-administration of terfenidine is contraindicated in patients receiving fluconazole. Fluconazole and terfenidine drug-drug interaction is the prototype 
long QT syndrome. For sa de poire, there are numerous adverse effects associated with fluconazole listed here. There are also numerous warnings and precautions for fluconazole, including hepatic injury. There's a potential for fetal harm in pregnancy. This drug should not be used in children younger than six months of age. And because elderly patients are more likely to have age-related kidney problems, it's likely going to require a dose adjustment for older folks. With respect to breastfeeding, you need to weigh the potential benefits against the potential risks. There's a rectifier potassium channel in here, and that interaction causes a QT prolongation via inhibition of that. Again, this is the prototypical example of torsa de poire caused by other medicinal products such as amiodarone. Any drug that inhibits CYP3A4 is going to increase the levels of fluconazole. So this will cause sudden cardiac arrest and heart death. What's interesting about azole antifungals, they are both substrates and at the same time inhibitors of the cytochrome P450 family member CYP3A4. Please remember CYP3A4 metabolizes greater than 50% all clinically prescribed drugs. So the concomitant use of azoles increases the serum concentration of calcium channel blockers, immunosuppressants, chemotherapeutic drugs, benzodiazepine, TCAs, macrolides, SSRIs, all have the potential to cause serious and lethal drug-drug interaction. The primary route of elimination is renal. Fluconazole is removed by hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. There are many drug-drug interactions with fluconazole. Here's a link that if you click on it, it'll take you to warnings associated with fluconazole. Serious interactions with at least 84 different drugs, moderate interactions with 186, mild interactions with at least 96 different. Itraconazole, structure, package, mechanism of action like that of other azoles, binding to fungal cytochrome P450s to disrupt their membrane. Itraconazole is indicated aspergillus, diatomaceous molds, some are listed here, and sporothrix shinki, contraindicated in pregnancy, other conditions, use cautiously in patients with cystic fibrosis, cardiovascular disease, pulmonary disease, or in the elderly, numerous adverse effects associated with itraconazole. While rare, itraconazole has caused fatal liver disease. Symptoms to watch out for include nausea, vomiting, doesn't stop, loss of appetite, stomach or abdominal pain, yellowing eyes, skin, dark urine. Due to its inotropic effects, itraconazole's labeling includes a black box warning shown here. Patients with coronary heart failure. This drug is predominantly metabolized by CYP3A4. This results in the formation of several metabolites, including hydroxyitraconazole, which is the major metabolite. A picture of voriconazole, which is the structure and the label. This drug is indicated for invasive aspergillosis, deep tissue candida infections, esophageal candidiasis, as well as other serious fungal infections caused by other agents, including fusarium. Or this drug can be used in patients intolerant or refractory to other therapies. This drug is contraindicated in patients with galactose malabsorption, galactose intolerance, and other conditions. Numerous adverse effects associated with voriconazole and visual disturbances, fever, nausea, rash, vomiting, chills. In pediatric patients, it's worse. Additional warnings and precautions, hepatic toxicity, arrhythmias, QT prolongation, anaphylactic reactions, infusion-related reactions, and serious exfoliative cutaneous reactions, photosensitivity, embryo-fetal toxicity, skeletal adverse reactions, clinically significant drug interactions. These drugs are fairly Talk. With respect to veroconazole metabolism, P450s work on this drug, in particular CYP2C19. Thus, there are many drug-drug interactions, mainly due to this compound's ability to inhibit this very important drug metabolizing enzyme. Many other drugs have a huge effect on veroconazole, serious drug-drug interactions. Kinocandins are a group of semi-synthetic cyclic lipopeptides with an N-linked acyllipid side chain. See that here. The drugs in this class include caspofungin, mycofungin, and anadulafungin, approved for IV use in systemic candida infections. There's a new class of drugs that act by inhibition beta 1 3 D glucan synthase. This is a key enzyme necessary for the integrity of fungal cell walls. Glucan synthase enzyme forms glucan, a major component of the fungal cell wall. Fungal cell walls are damaged. Caspofungin, mycofungin, and andulafungin. These drugs are newer. The first drug was the 
approved in 2016, indicated in adults and pediatric patients three months of old and older for fungal infections. Mycofungin, in particular, is indicated in the treatment of patients with candidemia, acute disseminated candidiasis, candida peritonitis, and abscesses. And you can also treat patients with esophageal candidiasis. Prophylaxis of candida infections in patients undergoing hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. There are adverse effects, cautions, and contraindications with echinocandins. Interestingly, a red man syndrome is associated with histamine release, first reported with anadulafungin adolescent during infusion of the first dose. There is a black box warning for this drug, mycofungin. It's been issued by the European Medicine Agency, not the Food and Drug Administration in the United States. This is all based on the development of altered hepatocytes, foci, hepatocellular tumors after a treatment period greater than three months that were observed in rats. Picture of the structure of flucytosine as well as a label and some links for you. This drug is a permitting analog that has an activity against fungal species and this drug interferes with purine and permitting metabolism in yeast, fungi. Flucytosine interferes with purine and permitting metabolism. The prodrug is deaminated to 5-fluorouracil and then converted to 5-fluorodeoxyuridylic acid monophosphate. This compound is used in combination with ketoconazole and other drugs. Its current use is mainly in combination with liposomal amphotericin B, cryptococcal meningitis. This drug has a black box warning associated with it. You need to use this drug in extreme caution with patients' renal impairment. It's contraindicated in pregnancy, contraindicated in breastfeeding. Use extreme caution in patients with bone marrow suppression. Bone marrow toxicity can be irreversible but may lead to death in immunosuppressed patients. Metabolism el elimination is renal with up to 96% of the total dose eliminated as unchanged drug. So your doctors, that's it for drugs to treat fungal infections. Loving old dog, Bud Wilson.